Flight Scooter is our new take on flight boarding, designed for easy learning for almost anyone. But there are still important skills to learn, so please watch this video carefully and expect a few thrills and spills in your first session. First up, let's talk about safety. Flight Scooter can travel at speed on water with moving parts. The risks associated with any marine craft apply and there is a potential to fall on the board, wings or handlebars. Always wear an approved personal flotation device and we recommend a helmet when learning or inexperienced. Be careful not to kick anything sharp when swimming near the board. Flight Scooter uses our flight jet for maximum safety. This involves a powerful motor, so care should be taken at all times. Regulations vary from state to state and country to country, so check whether you need a license or registration and the specific rules in your area. It's important to choose a suitable location, clear of obstacles and traffic, with minimum water depth of at least one metre. Also be aware, a change in tide will alter the water level and may expose previously submerged objects. Just like operating a boat, striking submerged objects or the sea floor at speed could lead to a fall and could cause injury or damage. So please ensure that you or anyone else riding flight scooter are riding in a safe area with adequate water depth. Check out the Fly Zones feature in the Flight app to help you stay within safe areas. It's recommended you learn on smooth water. Choppy conditions or swell make riding flight scooter more difficult. Please ensure you remain at a distance of at least 150 metres or 165 yards from swimmers and other water users at all times. You can carry the board by holding one handle and the mast. The complete setup weighs more than 30 kilos, 66 pounds, so take care or get a friend to help if required. It may be easier to carry it to the water's edge with the flight cell removed. Review our assembly instructions to prepare your flight scooter. Before entering the water, pair the controller to flight scooter before arming the board and running the motor. Ensure you're wearing the wireless safety key you can push flight scooter out to deeper water either on its side or upside down without the handlebars inserted. Once you're in chest deep water, flip the board over, insert the handlebars and climb aboard from the side. At this point, you can lock in the handlebars. If you're stepping on from a dock or the back of the boat, you can have the handlebars clipped in beforehand. From a depth of at least one meter, three feet, assume a standing position on the scooter with both hands on the handlebars and feet shoulder width apart. Press the wireless safety key to activate it. You'll see safety key detected appear on flight controller. Check and set your gear on flight controller. Leave it in first gear if you're a lighter rider or experiment with a higher starting gear if you're a heavier rider. You may choose to reduce the gear once planing and foiling. To arm the system, Press the thumb throttle all the way in, then release it completely. Immediately press and release the minus button on flight controller. Now press the thumb throttle and lean forward gently on the handlebars to keep the board flat and planing over the surface of the water. To practice foiling, shift your weight back by softly pulling on the handlebars. Then level out quickly by gently pushing forward again. Fly low and touch down often until you're confident enough to hold the foiling longer and longer. The safest way to ride flight scooter is by holding the handlebars at all times. If you rise too high, hold on and maintain speed. And try again for a smooth takeoff, followed by level flight. If you do feel yourself losing balance and falling to one side, hold onto the handlebars and roll with your board. This helps to avoid contact with sharp edges like the wings or mast. It also keeps you with your board, so you can easily get back on and try again. If you want to stop quickly, gently release your throttle to drop the speed. You'll come back to the stationary floating position. Allow sufficient room to stop. You may need to dismount your flight scooter to point it in the right direction before taking off again. 
Once you're comfortable flying in a straight line, you can steer by shifting weight from one foot to the other. Start by doing very wide turns. As you gain experience, you can try tighter turns. Be sure to keep your power constant to keep the foil balanced. How does it work? Flight Scooter rides on wings that fly underwater. Just like an aeroplane, Flight Scooter needs sufficient and constant speed to avoid stalling. The wings must be flown level to avoid wing breaches and splashdowns. While Flight Scooter is easy to fly, here are some common mistakes to avoid. Taking off with insufficient speed. Flying speed is generally 20 kilometers an hour, 12.5 miles per hour, or slightly faster for heavier riders. Pulling back to fly with insufficient speed will stall the wing, causing a splashdown. To avoid this common mistake, ensure you start standing as far forward as possible and continue gently pushing forward on the handlebars to keep the nose of the board and wing down until you've reached flying speed. Flying too high. Once at sufficient flying speed, you can take off smoothly by very gently shifting weight back and pulling back on the handlebars. Angle the nose of the board up a few degrees to take off. Then quickly return board and wing to level position to maintain constant altitude. The skill and thrill of flight scooter is finding the right balance above the water. Pulling or leaning back too hard or being too aggressive with the handlebars will cause a wing breach or stall and will result in a splashdown. Speed variation. The thrust from the flight jet is part of the overall balance of the hydrofoil system. Make changes via the accelerator smoothly and slowly to maintain smooth and level flight. Varying speed too aggressively can disrupt balance and cause a wing breach, stall or splashdown. After the thrill of your session, it's time to pack up. Make sure you read through the storage and maintenance section of the user guide. Now that you can ride your flight scooter, Remember to use the Flight app to share your adventures and connect with a whole community of flight boarders. Discover more at flightboard.com flight scooter.